The final piece to proportional reasoning is scale. A scale drawing is a drawing that shows a real object with accurate sizes, except they've been reduced or enlarged by a certain amount. When they go to make a billboard, they don't go up there and start eyeballing it saying, hey, this looks good. They make a smaller version of it, and then they multiply it by a number known as the scale factor or to make it that much bigger. Same thing for a house. They draw the blueprints up, and on the blueprint, it might say that one inch is equal to one foot in real life. And that's how they can do the conversions. They can also reduce things. They can make them smaller. Taking a poster and shrinking it to a picture, they, they're going to reduce it by a certain number, meaning make it smaller. To start off for scale, we're going to look at a map scale. That's the most common one that students are familiar with at this point. A map scale is 1 inch equals 75 miles. The map distance between two towns is 3.5 inches. Find the actual distance between the towns. So we have inches, miles, and inches. So we're going to compare inches to miles. We are told that one inch is equal to 75 miles. So what we want to know is how many inches is Oh, so what we want to know is if they're 3.5 inches on the map, what's the actual distance? So we have 1 times D and 75 times 3.5. So 1D is equal to 262.5. Which we would divide by 1. To find out that D is equal to 262.5 miles. The next problem. My map scale says that 1 inch is equal to 15 miles. Using the map, I measure the distance remaining on Interstate 40 as about 9 inches. How many miles do I still need to go to get to the beach? Once again, we are comparing inches to miles. So we're told that 1 inch is equal to 15 miles. And we are told that the remaining distance we have to go is 9 inches. And we're wondering how many more miles do we have to go. So we cross multiply 1 times m and 9 times 15 to get 1m is equal to 135. We divide 135 divided by 1. And we get that M is equal to 135 miles. Another way we can approach these problems is to say 1 times 15 is going to give you 15. So 9 times 15 would give you M. And notice that when we cross multiplied, that's what we ended up doing. So if you prefer to do it that way when you can see relationships, that's fine to do as well. For the last question, it says if we still have 135 miles to go and we're going 60 miles per hour, how long till we get there? So we have miles, miles, and hours. So we're going to compare miles to hours. So we have 135 miles to go. And we are going 60 miles per hour. That means when it says per hour, that means one hour. That's a unit rate. How long till we get there? So we're looking for our number of hours for 135 miles. So we say h times 60 and 135 times 1. h times 60 is 60h. 
135 times 1 is 135. We then have H is going to equal 135 divided by 60. And we get that H is going to equal 2.25 hours. Now, I know there are those of you out there that are going to want to take this information and convert it into minutes. Remember when we talked about this that minutes are a base 60, whereas decimals are base 10. Those are different units of measure, so we can't quite do that. So what we have to do is say, if there are, is to compare minutes to hours. So we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. How many minutes would be in the point 25? We don't need to worry about that whole number two because that's our number of hours. We have two hours guaranteed. But what we do need to worry about is the point 25 if you are wanting to convert it into minutes. So one times M, 60 times point 25. 1m is equal to 15. We divide m by 15 divided by 1 to find out that m would equal 15 minutes. So if we wanted to convert h, we could say that it would be 2 hours and 15 minutes. The problem didn't ask us to do this. A lot of times the problem will say in hours, how long until you get there, in which case the decimal answer would be fine. But if you ever wanted to know how to convert or you ever want to or you ever asked to convert it hours, minutes, that's how you solve it.